Hello, Devin here. I'll be walking you through a beginner's Qualtrics training tutorial. We'll be covering some basic aspects of Qualtrics, including setting up and organizing the survey, creating questions, various question types, labeling questions and responses, and simple survey distribution. So let's log into our Sandbox account. We sign in, and the first thing we're gonna do is create a new project on the bottom left. So there are multiple ways to create a project. You can create one from scratch, you can create one from a program or guided projects, which are pre-built solutions with a step-by-step -step guidance. You can leverage project templates, which were developed by subject matter experts. You can leverage projects from specific things such as COVID-19 or even academic project templates, which are leveraged by experts in the education field. For now, we're going to start with a project from scratch. Click on here, survey, get started. You can also create a project from existing copy. This is where you create a new survey based on pre-existing survey that's already in your account. You can also create a file from a Qualtrics survey format, a QSF file, which can be used when transferring a copy of your survey to another Qualtrics account. For now, we're going to be creating a new blank project and we'll name this consent form demo. And you can also place your project in a folder that you've created before. So let's create our project, click create project. We're going to discuss how to organize your survey. The goal is to keep it simple so it's easily readable when you export your data and prepare for analysis. So Qualtrics allows you to add these blocks to easily organize and edit your surveys. The purpose of these blocks is to chunk your content into categories. So the first block is generally used for introductions, but we can use it for the consent form. You can do this by making sure that the question type says multiple choice, click on the question, click on rich content editor, and pull up your pre-built survey. So I have mine right here, control copy, and I can paste it into the rich content editor. The reason why I chose to do it that way is because it retains its format. And as you can see here right now, we have three choices. I only need two. So I can go on the left side here, go to choices, re reduce it by one, and I can edit it here. Yes, I consent. And no, I do not consent. Click. Turning back to the left side of the screen, you can see other question options. We're going to be focusing on add requirements. As you can see here, there are two types of responses. Fourth response is important if you need the participant to answer the question. For the request response, if the participant skips a question, Qualtrics will prompt them to answer, but is not required for them to answer the question to finish the survey. So for now, we're gonna choose forced response as we need the consent of the participant. So now the consent form is done, we'll be working on a new block. So for this demonstration, we'll be adding a demographic block. To do this, add a new question, select multiple choice, as before, we're going to add our question here. So I'll pull from my previous template over here, click on this. I can paste it. And the cool thing about this is that you have the option to edit multiple questions at once. So all you have to do is control copy all of your choices, go back to your survey, click on choice number one and paste. And it fills out all the questions for you. Another demographic question we might ask here is their age. So for demonstration, we will select a text entry question and ask, what is your age? What is your age? And this will allow the participant to type in their response instead of selecting a predetermined question. So to make sure the candidate's response are consistent, we can control a minimum and maximum characters they can type. So go over here on the left side, click on add validation, select care content type. And since we're dealing with a person's age, we're gonna select number. Since the minimum age is 18, the minimum number is gonna be number two, the maximum is gonna be two, and we're not gonna allow any decimals, so zero. One thing you wanna consider is labeling your blocks in question. This makes understanding your exported data so much easier. To do this, scroll all the way to the top, you can just edit the titles in the block. So you can name this 
consent. You can name this one also consent. You can name this block demographic. You name this ethnicity. And you also name this block age. So imagine you are done creating your survey and you want to focus on distribution of the survey. To do this, go to the top of your screen and click on distribution. So Qualtrics gives you a lot of options to distribute your survey. One of the first options is to compose an email. Click on this, let it load. So if you want to distribute your email to multiple people, you can click on select contacts list and you can add their new information in here. You can also edit the subject line to whatever you want and edit the body paragraph as well. You can also send anonymous links and you can attach it to your via email or you can post this link to your social media pages. So that's it for our tutorial video. If you have any questions about the Qualtrics platform, please leave in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe as I'll be releasing more videos about Qualtrics and experience management. Bye-bye.